Hey KCP Church family, I wanted to take a second just to reach out and remind everyone that Group Life is starting back up next week with several groups hosting their first meetings of the year on Sunday afternoon and evening. So if you haven't signed up to be a part of a group this year, let me encourage you to go ahead and go online and find a place to connect. Now, I realize obviously that this is a crazy year and there's a ton of new and different challenges that we all have to navigate. But I think all the more important then for us to be immersed in the love of God expressed through biblical community. I love what the Apostle John says in 1 John chapter 4. He says, Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. Now here's what I think that John is saying. Obviously, no one can ever add to the perfect love of God. But God is a living spirit who dwells within his people, who you can see. And so biblical community then is this way that we put flesh on the love of God, how it becomes a tangible reality in our everyday lives. That happens when we serve one another, when we encourage and bear one another's burdens. It's when we laugh together and share together and pray for one another that we get to taste and to see the love of God in a visible way. And so God says, in order to experience the full outworking of the depths of my love, live life and group up in deep ways with other believers in the Lord. So how about you? What's your plan for finding and experiencing that kind of community and that kind of love this year? Personally, I'd love to help, so feel free to reach out with any questions that you have, or if you just need help landing on the right group for you and your family. We really are, as a staff, committed to helping you find a group that you can be a part of. Now, ladies, let me point out a couple of great groups that are starting this week. First of all, on Monday night, Tina Hine and Katie Reed are starting their women's Bible study at the church from 7 o'clock to 9 p.m. It's called The Well. It's going to be a great opportunity for you to be refreshed by the Word and to experience the life-giving waters of Jesus in fellowship with a group of women, just as you're reading through the, the Acts Bible study daily Bible reading plan. Also, Devereux Book Club is starting this Wednesday night during middle school, during the youth group, for women that are interested in joining from 7 o'clock to 8.30 p.m. They're going to be reading the book Under Our Skin by Ben Watson and discussing the fears and frustrations around racism that cause division and misunderstanding. This is a, such a great book, and I look forward to hearing about the conversations that take place in and through this group. And lastly, Nadia Williams is kicking off the Women's Koinonia Group this Tuesday, the 15th, from 5.30 p.m. to 6.30, which will start with a prayer walk around the Greenbelt. It's for ladies, any ladies, who want to get some fresh air and pray together for their families and for our community. Now, there's more information on the website about this group, as well as all the other groups that are kicking off this week. So let me encourage you again. Don't feel the pressure to be a part of everything going on at the church. But instead, I want to encourage you to find one group and commit to being a part of it this year. Commit to going deep with a few other men, a few other women or families, so that we can flourish well and grow as the family of God. Hey, please reach out to me if you're struggling to decide or you can't find what you're looking for online. I'd love to help. All right, friends, look forward to seeing you at worship this Sunday. Until then, blessings to you and your family.